background image now can be referenced now. So now I can go into adjust background image and that'll now populate because Sandbox knows which folder to reference. So now if I bring that in and by default it's going to be set up 500 meters by 500 meters, which is not correct. But that'll at least get it initially in here. You'll still have this in here and that's fine. You'll be able to get rid of that once you get your... Uh, I like to leave this in here because this is centered. This center line, as far as this segment, when it saves like that, this is in the center. So I use that as a reference as far as applying um, the background image. Okay, so now that we've got the background image in here, obviously it's not the, you want to get it to the right size. You want to get it scaled properly. So the way to do that is you would have to use uh, something like Google Earth, is what I uh, primarily tend to suggest, and use the ruler tool that is in Google Earth to get your uh, measurements. So use the ruler tool to get what you need. And I've already got, um, what I've taken the liberty of doing in my background image for this one, which comes in handy, is I already got those values of what I need already applied. So I know what this needs to come at to. All right. And that's just for quick reference. So if I ever do want to uh, make changes, I guess, to another build of Charlotte, based on this image I can do that or even another one for that matter because that's you know those will relatively say the same regardless of how you create your uh, background image you know be stitching it together through Google Earth so that'll give you a good idea as, as far as like that and what these values just another fair mention what these values do take into consideration is all this dead space that exists in here that's not just the image you know the sat image you know as far as the track itself that includes all this dead space so you have to accommodate for that in order to f to size it correctly and that's only because we have that constraint of uh, keeping the background image as far as what we put into a MIP file and the constraint of a, a power 2 and again this is representative of a 4096 by 4096 so now that we have it at this point, we get the measurements from Google Earth based on known points from in within Google Earth itself. And just for sake of reference, I'll go ahead and measure. I'll put up the linear guide. This is what I'm trying to get to. Uh, view linear guide. That puts that right in the center. And what you want to do is stretch this out to... You want to take your measurements that you take, there's going to be like the apex from one end to the other of the track both directions so let's say just for the sake of this your measurement in Google Earth ends up being I want to say it was 900 I'm guessing I don't have Google Earth open I'm not gonna open it I'm just gonna do this really quickly but let's say your measurement in Google Earth ends up being 900 meters meters is the uh, appropriate measurement for uh, NASCAR Racing 2003. That is what it uses as its standard unit of measurement is meters. So I'm going to stretch this all the way out to 900 meters. And what you can do to get more precise on it on the ends here is you can zoom in on it and you can get a little bit more precise on it. Okay, I'm just you can I'm just trying to show I guess that you can see the number in there. It's kind of hard to see. I can't zoom in and on it enough, so it's that kind of stinks. But you you can kind of see what's going on. As the more you zoom in, the more precise you can get with how close that gets. So that's that's 901. Now let's say that's that's your measurement. Just for the sake of it. Now what I what you can do now I kind of move that center. And this is why I said I want to keep that. Um, deal here as far as the straight move this center point right on that center of that so put it right on that center point so I think I kind of moved it a little bit so now that's centered now you've got an idea of where you need to stretch your background image to in this direction okay so what you would end up doing is going down into just background image and put that at 
at least what you got here. It's probably not going to be right at first, but that'll give you an idea. So put it at 901 on the width. I think that's the right one. We'll find out. So we do 900, do an OK. See, that'll stretch it out. See, now, that is assuming, you know, like I said, this this measurement here is based on you taking the measurement Google Earth. That's 900 from one apex of the corner to the other, you know, from here to here, not this dead space. So from this point, you would have to adjust for that dead space on both sides here. That is where that value comes from there. I already know what that value is, so I know I can keep adjusting this, though, just to kind of show you. Because what we, and you know, just to, just to bear in mind, keep this linear guide. Once you get this measurement, all you're trying to do, this is what you get in Google Earth. All you're trying to do is get these points now to match where you've measured in Google Earth. Okay? I don't want to lose sight of that. You're not trying to measure up the size of your background image, be it your MIP file. That's primarily where it's at right now. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to get that same measurement, a one-to-one -one representation of what you got in Google Earth, to the linear guide is what here's in Sandbox, to this same points. That's what we're trying to accomplish. All right, so what we need to do, I'm going to put this at like 1,200, and this is what you would necessarily do to get to where it needs to go. So it'll stretch out. I see I got a little bit more to go to get it where I've measured in Google Earth. Okay, go up another 100 meters, we'll go 1,300. I already know what it needs to be because I've got that already done, but this is what you would necessarily have to do. See, we're that much closer. Keeping in mind, we're not adjusting that. Once we get the linear guide to where we've got it measured in Google Earth, don't move it. Only adjust these, these values here. Alright, so now we're going to go to 1400. Just move it up a little more. See, now we're pretty close. See, now I, I'm, I know this, this value here isn't the same. But this is, if this ends up being representative of what you've got measured in Google Earth, then you're good to go. You don't need to make any further adjustments in this direction. Okay? Now you'd have to do the same thing going the other direction, as far as this way. So you do the same thing in Google Earth. Take your measurement in Google Earth from like the back stretch here to the back stretch, to the front stretch wall here, and you get that measurement that you get in Google Earth and apply that to the linear guide and sandbox. So go this way. Let's say it ends up being uh, 700 meters, for example. So what you do? stretch this out to 700 meters and you're going to end up moving this back to the center and that's why you keep this here so you know where the center is at so don't don't be quick I guess to want to remove that straight all right let me zoom out on this so I can stretch it out let's just say it ends up being 700 meters just for the sake of it so I'm going to get this to 700 meters that's pretty close and you can zoom in on it to get it to worry exactly where you need it to be. Well, let's just say that's our measurement. Now we're going to move the center point onto the center here. Like that. Okay. And then stretch the image. Don't move this. Once you've got this where you need it, as far as uh, what you've measured in Google Earth, centered up in sandbox. That's what you use that as a, as a reference that it's centered and then just adjust your background image now in this case we have to do the length now we've got it at 700 meters we'll set it initially at 700 meters it's going to be wrong whoops what did I do oh it helps if I do it right so do an okay see and it will move and it's wrong so we got to keep adjusting it until we get these points onto the same points that we've measured in Google Earth. Not moving anything else other than adjusting this. So we do 750. Almost there. Uh, background image. So let's do 850. 
Yep, we're getting closer. 900. You can do it a little bit at a time. And granted, I'm exaggerating these values as far as like, I think, let me check here. What did I have as, yeah, see, I only ended up needing 730. 14, 4, 45. That was what I came up with for that. But you get the idea, though. All you're trying to do, what you measured in Google Earth lined up, once you get that linear guide to the same measurement that you have, um, in Google Earth and lining those endpoints up to your background image as far as the same thing that you've measured visually in Google Earth. That's what you're trying to accomplish. And that's going to give you a one-to-one -one representation of... So let me just put this at a thousand. Okay, I know what I did wrong. So what it would have been... Uh, let's say the measurement for this case would end up being like 500... That's what I did wrong. So, just for the sake of this, I'm going to adjust. I think it was like 450 actually. From, you know, as far as measuring in Google Earth, it would have been 450 from here to here. So, let me just adjust this for the sake of this. I don't want to make it look exaggerated too much. So, let's get this down to 450. Right about there. So, if I center this back up. Yep, center this back up on here. All right. Now I can adjust this. Yeah, this will make more sense now. So now if I put this down to 700, let's say, just to start. There, that's closer. So if I do, you get the idea, though. Getting these endpoints, once you've got the measurement of what you've taken in Google Earth, and matching that with the linear guide and sandbox and then matching those endpoints to what you've measured in Google Earth that's how you get that background image sized correctly I know that was a lot to go over with so if, it, if that does necessarily confuse anybody please let me know I will gladly try to elaborate but the the other key uh, thing you want to use is uh, something like Google Earth uh, to get those measurements from so you know you can match your linear guide up the same way as what you've got so if you've got 450 450 meters in Google Earth set your um, uh, linear guide does the same thing center it using that um, that uh, laid down straight that you have that's already centered sandbox are automatically centers it you can go ahead and and then once you've got that sized up you're free to go you can once you've got that all sized up the way you need it to be um, you can necessarily turn off the linear guide and you're off off to the off to the races you can click